Okay, next up, Ted asks, have you read the book Witness by Whitaker Chambers? I just finished it and thought it was a great read. The similarities between what went on back then and the present is remarkable. Would love to hear your thoughts. Yeah, I actually quoted a passage from Witness in my book called America by Heart. This is my book. I'm on a horse at the Reagan Ranch. This horse is an offspring of the horses that uh, Reagan used to ride. Um, yes, I, I quote a passage from Witness in this book it meant so much to me. Uh, Chambers, as you know, was a spy for the Soviet Union in the 1930s, and he eventually renounced communism, but it had once been like a religion to him. The passage in this book that I quoted, um, it, it, I quote it in mine it, because it's the part where he describes the critical moment when he began his break with communism, when he saw the light. It was the moment when he first realized that God exists. Oh, this is, this is awesome and inspiring to me, how it happened. It happened while he was doing something every parent here has done. He was watching his baby daughter sitting in her high chair eating her breakfast. And as he looked at her intricate and perfect little ears, he suddenly realized that those ears could not have been created by any chance coming together of atoms in nature, which was what the communists believed. No, he knew they had to have been created by an immense design, and that design presupposes God. Chambers wrote, quote, I did not then know that at that moment the finger of God was first laid upon my forehead. I think that's such a beautiful phrase, the finger of God laid upon my forehead. Witness is not only an important book, it's also a beautifully written one. I believe it's one of the most important memoirs of the 20th century because it explains the struggle against communism, which spanned most of the last century. It's so important for us to know that today. And one final note. Uh, did you know that Witness was one of Ronald Reagan's favorite books? He read it repeatedly. Uh, when I visited the Reagan Ranch, again, that's what's on the cover here. Uh, this is in Santa Barbara. I saw Reagan's copy of Witness, his own copy of the book, right there on his bookshelf. In 1984, President Reagan, he awarded Chambers, after Chambers' death, the Presidential Medal of Freedom for his contribution to the century's epic struggle between freedom and totalitarianism. Ah, that's a good one. So I thank you for that question. Thank you for all of your questions. Please send in more. Uh, Click on that Ask Me Anything button. I'll keep answering your questions. Thank you.